Hello, friends from the Mongo world. My name is G. And I'm Hector. And we're here to talk about the June 2023 manga new releases. Uh, Hector and I, we work for Penguin Random House and we manage sales into the international market. So the titles that you'll see are those that we can sell around the world. Uh, the way that we have these laid out every month uh, when we're looking over the, um, the monthly review, obviously, of June, uh, is we'll start with our own picks for, in this case, for the month of June, and then um, we'll go over volume ones, any new volume ones, and then um, we'll continue with the rest of the list that you can definitely look through and take your time with because there's a lot of cool continuing um, volumes that you definitely want to check out here. So yeah. um, we'll get started with our picks. And then uh, uh, it's actually my pick. Uh, yeah. So this one is I'm kind of chubby and I'm your hero volume two. So I definitely picked this before <laughs> with volume <laughs> one. Uh, I'm sure because I remember talking about it, yeah. but I love this so much and I'm so you don't understand like <laughs> like I'm waiting for this to drop because I really want to read it. I absolutely loved volume one uh, about the premise. We have this main character who is an up and con like he's an he's an actor. He does a lot of stage plays, uh, but he is he's not what you typically think of when you think of actor because for him he's always worried that his weight will get in the way of the success of his career but turns out he doesn't really need to worry about that because he has a huge fan who you'll see in the yellow shirt here who is a mysterious fan at first that sends him pastries that he bakes um, in support of him as an actor. And you see this relationship forming between an actor and his um, fanboy, which I really love. Oh, yeah. And this is just a continuation of that story. It's just very, um, how do I say? It like just makes me warm and happy because it's yeah. just like there is good in the world, <laughs> yeah. you know? There's people out there who like when you're down and you're thinking about perhaps giving up your career, but then there's someone behind the scenes that is seemingly this stranger who's supportive of you. And this is like that kind of story. So I uh, highly recommend picking up this volume too. Yeah, love the tagline also, the sweet taste of success. I love mm -hmm. that. Yep. Next up is one of my picks is Prophecy. This is the complete Omnibus edition. Um, this obviously came out already a few years back, and there was even a movie made in 2015, a live action movie made out of, uh, based on this manga. Now, the story, this is a thriller. Uh, it's it's um, about this group, sort of a terrorist kind of group, or you could call it, called Shimbunshi, which is the word in Japanese for newspaper, and their leader, which you can see here, wears a mask made out of newspapers. And what this group is looking for is they do, they post online secrets from politics, criminals, and sort of are putting their, their crimes online. Um, people who have never, who have evaded the law, they are kind of making them uh, accountable by posting about what they've done online. And then on the bottom, you see Erica, who's the main character, and she is um, part of the cybercrime police. And she obviously is investigating this and is trying to catch this criminal. So there's a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of action. There's a lot of intrigue, thriller, obviously suspense. Um, and also a lot of social commentary, obviously, with, um, the, you know, the corruption and, and the, the things that people tend to get away with, uh, which seem very real <laughs> and, and on the news even recently. So uh, it's a very, very cool concept, a very cool story. I'm really looking forward to having a whole story in one in one volume. So check this one out for sure. 
right, and then we have the masterful cat is suppressed again today. Uh, this is volume six uh, by Imara. Uh, Super cat to the rescue <laughs> is the <laughs> tagline here for this volume. Uh, I just really like these. It, it reminds me of um, house uh, where the house has been, except with a cat, with which a is giant cat. <laughs> with a giant cat who walks on two yeah. legs. Yeah. Two paw two paws. <laughs> yeah. Uh, back paws. Yeah. So what you think as like what you expect the owner to be the one that's like responsible and taking care of their pets it turns to be really kind of the opposite maybe maybe yeah. question mark with the cat you know doing all the household household chores like cooking cleaning and like making food and everything um but i guess emotionally uh, the the human does contribute <laughs> to the household as well. Uh, she's like a young woman who lives at home with her cat, and it's just like a very sweet story um, with these two. Uh, and yeah, <laughs> uh, highly recommend again to pick this one up too. Yes, definitely. And next up is saving eighty thousand gold in another world. For my retirement, number one, the manga. Uh, this is an isekai, which is not a surprise for those of you who watch these videos because I love isekais. And I love one of the things I love about isekais is how they find different ways to show what people would do if they were in the situation of being sent to another world after they they die. In this case, we have the main character here. Um, and she she's an orphan she's a little girl she's an orphan and on top of that she like she's pushed <laughs> over a cliff and dies but then she realized she comes back to life in another world but at the same time she can she realizes she has the power to move from that world to this world to the real world and what does she do uh then she's stocks up on, on a lot of weapons on this world and uses them to get some gold on the other world. So she has the gold, obviously, as the title says, of saving up 80,000 gold pieces. Uh, so it's it's kind of cool. I mean, it's not something, you know, <laughs> very nice to do, but it's kind of cool to see, well, you know, Maybe that's what you do if you have this power. You decide to take advantage of another world uh, by using the technology from this one. Uh, I think this is going to be extremely fun. Uh, you know, I hope that it's also very, very sarcastic and very, very funny. So I'm looking forward to this one, too. Okay, uh, next up we have Obnoxious Hirokun, the complete collection by Amanda Rahimi. And this is all 800, over uh, 800 pages of mature rated boys love for anyone who is fans of boys love. Uh, it began as a webcomic on tapas, and now we have the complete collection in physical form, a hefty format. I love hefty books, uh, so this is great. And only for $24.99, which is like fantastic. It's amazing. It's amazing, uh, yeah. Yeah, it, you could have all of this on your own. Like, you know, the, the cover here, it, it describes the premise in a way <laughs> that makes you question things. Um, and I'm sure the person who's tied up here is also questioning things too. So the, 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 the leads here, we have a character who is like a playboy. He gets all the girls, they all love him. His smile charms anyone who sees it. And, you know, he's very irresistible and no one can, <laughs> no one can uh, uh, escape his charms except for Hero, who is this like dark haired boy who like had, had does not even care, <laughs> like, is, is not giving the playboy any attention at all. And, that intrigue, that's intriguing to he's like, who is this person that's not paying attention to me? <laughs> I need to know. 
and why is he so handsome? <laughs> and he's like questioning, oh, like being uh, tied up, like I guess literally, but also like tongue tied as well, encountering this like moody boy who doesn't have any friends and <laughs> also doesn't um find him, you know, as downright appealing like the other girls tend to do. Um, so it's a question of why is Hero finding himself tied up in this, or not Hero, but they're kind of both tied up here. <laughs> yeah. um, so what, how are they in this circumstance where they're tied up and you just need to find out more? As the cover kind of implies here, it's a, it's a very mature rated boy's love. It, it will be shrink wrapped as well. Um, so yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, and I did... Uh, I don't know if I should mention this. Yeah, I I, I will do a shout out here and say that uh, we did mention previously like several like web comic turned physical edition uh, stuff that is releasing, especially like these days. Like I'm really excited that we have so much um, variety that is that is coming out. So yeah. this is this is one of them. Yes, <laughs> definitely. All right, and next up is uh, my next two picks, which are together because obviously it's to every you I've loved before, light novel. And then next up is to me, the one who loved you, light novel. These two novels are written and meant to be to be read sort of simultaneously and together. The story, and 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 you might have heard about this because there was. Uh, very successful uh, movies, two movies that were made that were released at the same time in Japan uh, at the end of last year. I saw that Taiwan, uh, it was released uh, earlier this year in Taiwan, and I'm hoping we get more release in theaters, but tomorrow, uh, well, for this video tomorrow, depending on what you're watching, but April 20th, uh, Crunchyroll is going to make both movies available. Uh, for streaming. Um, and the premise of these movies is that this is a world where there's, you know, the multiverse is real. There's what they call parallel uh, universes or worlds. And you can, and some people can actually move between them. And there's a science part of it, a science fiction part of it, where scientists create these uh, watches that can tell you um, which world you're in and, and and how many worlds you can travel to and all this. But in the middle of it, there's a story of this boy who, uh, you know, before that, part of the, the, the premise also is that they talk about, you know, it, it's depending on the world you're in, your decisions might change your life very differently. So as small as what you have for breakfast, it could be one thing in one universe, one thing in another, and it completely changes the rest of your life. It could be that much. So this boy, his parents just go through a divorce. And in one book, you see the story of what happens when he's, he decides to stay with, with his mom. And the second book is what he decides to do, what happens to him when he decides to stay with his dad. And obviously there's a love interest, as you can see in both of them. Um, so... It's very cool and very interesting to see these parallel stories. There was a movie a long time ago called Sliding Doors with Gwyneth Paltrow that explore that same also concept. And there's been a lot about that, but this is written more in a very uh, sort of lighter way. And it does have the science fiction, but it also has a lot of drama and, and it speculates about what what could be. and um, you know, that's something that we can all relate. What could have been if I had made a different decision? So it's very cool. Check out these two light novels that will be available in June, but obviously also the movies which are coming out and are going to be available for streaming. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, also with these light novels, you don't have mm -hmm. to read it in a particular order. Yeah. Uh, so like, of course, it's just a matter of 
oh, if you want to read this one, read that one first. Who cares? And like, maybe, <laughs> maybe in the universe, in this universe, you start with this one, but maybe in another universe, you decide you to start, start with, with the other one. one. Yeah. <laughs> and your life is different because of it. Who knows? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So it's really up to you, which it's I think up to is you. cool. Exactly. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Next up, volume ones. Yeah, we'll go over some volume ones. We have homunculus. This is the omnibus. Uh, two and one, so we have volumes one to two in this uh, collection. This is from the creator of Ichi the Killer and Voyager. It's a hit supernatural horror take inspired by the live action film on Netflix. It will be uh, available in English in this, um, I forgot to mention, an oversized uh, omnibus format. And then we have Madaka Corolla. Corolla? Cor I'm not going <laughs> to. <laughs> I will continue on. Uh, Madoka is impervious to my charms, volume one. I struggled there. Uh, <laughs> it's a rom-com between a stoic monk in training uh, versus the cutest girl in high school. I am so distracted because of the cover here. <laughs> Who will win in this heated battle of wills? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Yes, <laughs> the, the cover will speak for itself. Exactly. We also have River's Edge. Uh, this is from the renowned author Kyoko um, Okazaki, the creator of Helter Skelter and Pink. Comes a story of adolescence filled with friendship, drama, intertwined relationships of six high school friends. And then I definitely talked about this one before. Uh, and I think it's really cool too. I think it was what, when the made that announcement for the yeah, license. Yeah, when when the license um, dropped for this or when we heard about it. What yeah. he who doesn't believe in fate says, Volume One. It's a supernatural uh, manga where this guy can see that red string that ties you that ties the fate between soulmates. So. He knows that like this person that he's fall he's fallen in love with, he's not connected with her um, with this like red line. So it's kind of like, what do I do in this circumstance? <laughs> like I still Take like advantage. like this person, yeah. but like I don't I don't really see like if this is true, it's not in the cards or it's not faded. To, for mm -hmm. us to be together if I don't see this red line. But it's a question of that, right? Um, and what's cool is you'll see the title and it has like some red yeah. in the title to indicate the line. I think it's just cool. The so other cool thing really cool. that you haven't mentioned is the the mm -hmm. the name of the, the creator. Oh, Omu, Omu the Rice. I yeah. love that name. It's a great, <laughs> it's a great name. It's amazing name. Mm-hmm. All right, uh, I did forget to mention. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> oh, I like I'm stopping here as if, yeah, there's more. Um, we're stopping here, but you definitely should stay on uh, to look at the continuing um, volumes that is coming out in June. So definitely stick around to like look through the slides so you can see that. Um, but for us, we're exiting here. Um, again, uh, we do this um, on a monthly basis, but we also do monthly videos as well, or not monthly. We do that, but we also do weekly uh, videos that come out on YouTube. We're lots on social videos, media. Lots of videos. Lots of videos, lots of content that you can watch through. We're on social media at PRH International Comics, so I'll link those in the description below as well. Um, so for now, we're going to say bye, uh, but definitely take a look um, for more titles um, for the rest of this list. Thank you. Bye.